Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Story we've been following for weeks, actually a couple of months now, actually, is the ratings, obviously. And we always cover the ratings, but we're in the middle of a pandemic. And uh, ain't just a pandemic we're in the middle of right now. And prior to all of this going down, when we were only in the middle of a global pandemic, people were watching the news in great numbers. And it affected all of the wrestling shows, particularly AEW and NXT. If there was if there was strong news coverage about something, it would affect both of those shows. Obviously, just the fact that there was a pandemic, the fact that there were no fans in the arenas, all of these things, all of this took a hit on wrestling ratings. Well, a couple of weeks ago, people started to get burned out on the news, and... Uh, all of a sudden, this past Wednesday, we actually saw the AEW and NXT numbers return to almost where they were, roughly where they were, before everything shut down. And I'm going to attempt to not sneeze here on the air as I, as I get through the rest of this. So then the question was, okay, well, what about SmackDown? And SmackDown, as I powerfully attempt not to sneeze here, SmackDown, it turns out, also ended up doing uh, above 2 million viewers. And that actually was interesting because SmackDown in many markets was was preempted. And when we got the final numbers in Monday, it stayed above 2 million viewers. Now, the big question was Raw. AEW and NXT had recovered somewhat. SmackDown had recovered somewhat. What about Raw? Well, Rod, this past Monday night, ended up doing 1.73 million viewers, basically identical to the week before, 1.74 million viewers. Now, the week prior, I said, kind of got to throw out this number, it's Memorial Day, Memorial Day usually doesn't do a great number, let's see what happens this coming Monday. Little did I know what was going to happen over the course of the next seven days, Raw was slaughtered. At 18 to 49 by news shows. Normally, even if Raw is close to an all time low, it's still like number one, number two, number three, sometimes number one, two, five, because that third hour usually dies. Usually it's still way up there, but this week it was, let's see, 13th in the demo behind 11 news shows. So obviously everybody was watching the news, and I presume that everybody's going to be watching the news tonight, so I expect this to uh, probably greatly affect the AEW and NXT numbers. I guess we'll find out, but I guess we wait until next week to find out if Raw is also beginning to return uh, back to normal after all of this. 1.81 million viewers in the second hour, 1.80 million viewers in the second hour. So basically, for those people not watching the news... I mean, they watched the first two hours of Raw straight. I mean, statistically, nobody tuned in in the second hour and nobody tuned out. But then that third hour, 1.57 million viewers, a horrific number, and uh, that's it. So, as always, the real world trumps professional wrestling. It happened Monday. I expect it to happen tonight. And uh, for all I know, it's going to happen Friday as well and maybe for a while here. So, obviously, bigger fish to fry, but those are your pro wrestling raw ratings numbers. You can hit the mute button now and go ahead and sneeze. I don't have to now. It only happens in the middle of 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 a tirade. Very professional, my friend. What can you say? You know, before we were saying we don't know what's going to happen night after night when it comes to this pandemic. Maybe we'll get some news. Maybe there'll be an address, something that'll take place that'll drag people's attention away. Obviously, in the United States of America, I don't know about how it affects Canada or elsewhere. Uh, Our our current social situation is exploding, and now that's something you have to look into night after night. Uh, There was, you know, what's going to affect SmackDown, and it does not affect uh, seemingly Raw and and AEW, obviously, uh, being on USA and on TNT, is there's not going to be news coverage uh, that directly affects them as would affect the SmackDown number. Uh, but with that said, who knows what happen- can happen night after night anymore. You know, it only takes one thing to drag people's attention away. And 
as you mentioned, you know, you look at that demographic drop, you know, because the news was on. So I, I don't know what you say, you know, ratings right now, you just kind of have to throw your hands up and hope that it doesn't get lower than what it was. That's the bottom line. Have we already hit rock bottom with Raw? It looks like we, we have. We don't know. But, you know, we'll see what happens with the news tonight and, and see how it goes.